Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we are going to observe some of the numeric binary codes starting with 8421, XS3 and 3321 codes. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today, at first we will be introduced properly to the 8421 and XS3 codes. Thereafter, we will observe the 3321 codes. Now, in the previous session, when we saw the classification of the binary codes, we came to know about that binary codes can be broadly classified into two different categories, alphanumeric codes and numeric codes. There, we also learned about these two alphanumeric codes. Today, we will first observe the 8421 code, then we will observe the XS3 code. Now, regarding the gray code, we will have a different session altogether. Now, in the previous session, we also learned that all of these weighted codes are self-complementary. So, what we will do? Instead of learning all of them one by one, we will learn about the 3321 codes using the logic of which we can also implement the rest of the codes. So, let's begin with the 8421 codes. Now, for 8421, as the name suggests, these are weighted. Also, these are sequential. Now, we all know in case of decimal, there are 10 symbols. Now, in the study of numeric codes, we will basically learn about how to encode all the symbols of decimal in the respective numeric codes using their own encoding techniques. So, let's see how the encoding works for 8421. Now, if you observe closely, 8421, these place values are quite similar to the unsigned ones, right? So, basically, for all the decimal symbols from 0 to 9, the encodings will be similar as the unsigned numbers. So, 0 will basically be 0, 0, 0, 0, and sequentially, 1 will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 2 will be 0, 0, 1, 0, and finally, the symbol 9 will be encoded using the pattern 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, this might lead you to think that what will happen in case of the numbers after 9? Now, using 4 bits, we have already seen we can represent 16 numbers, right? So, you might be wondering, in case of decimal, what will be the encoding for the numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15? You might also think, since the place values for 8, 4, 2, 1 are similar to the unsigned ones, the encodings for 10 to 15 will also be similar as we did in case of unsigned numbers. But I'm afraid, these are all wrong. Now, notice carefully, we encoded all the symbols of decimals, right? And here, we are talking about the numbers. Now, all these numbers are actually two-digit numbers, right? So, for all the digits, we will have different set of 8 foot to 1 encodings. So, basically for 10, for the 1 in 10's place, we will have the encoding 0001 first. And for 0, the encoding will be four zeros. Similarly, for 11, for the 1 in 10's place, the encoding will be 0001 first. Thereafter, for the one in the unit's place, we will also have the encoding 0001. Now, for the remaining numbers, if you observe carefully, all the tens place have the value 1. So, basically, all of them will be encoded as 0001. Now, the symbols in the unit's place will be encoded sequentially. So, yes, 8421 codes are weighted and they are sequential. Do remember that in all the numeric binary codes, we will learn how to encode the symbols of the decimal number systems. Alright? Let's now move on to the XS3 codes. Now, in the previous session only, we learned that the XS3 codes fall under the non weighted category. However, they are sequential. They are also self complementary. Let's now observe the encoding technique of XS3 codes. So, basically, for the encoding of the symbol 0 in decimal, what we will do, we will take help from the patterns of the 8421 codes. Now, 0 in 8421 is encoded as 4 zeros, but in case of XS3, as the name suggests, instead of the pattern all zeros, we will choose the XS3 pattern that is 0011. Observe, from all zeros, this pattern 0011 is XS3. Correct? So, 0 in decimal, in case of XS3, will be encoded as 0011. Coming to the encoding of the symbol 1 in decimal, 
This time we will choose the axis 3 of 0, 0, 0, 1, that is this pattern 0, 1, 0, 0. So 1 in case of axis 3 will be encoded as 0, 1, 0, 0. I hope you are understanding the pattern. 0 in decimal, which is encoded in 8 foot 2 and as 4 zeros. In axis 3, it is having the pattern 0, 0, 1, 1, which in case of 8 foot 2 1 is the pattern for the decimal value 3. So for easy understanding, we can state 0 in axis 3 is represented by the pattern of 3 in 8 foot 2 1. Similarly, 1 in axis 3 is represented by the pattern of 4 of 8 foot 2 1. So subsequently, 2 will be represented using the pattern of 5, 3 with the pattern of 6, 4 with 7, 5 with 8, 6 with 9, 7 with 10, 8 with 11 and finally 9 with the pattern of 12. So for the decimal symbol 0 to 9, we have the encodings starting from 0, 0, 1, 1 till 1, 1, 0, 0. Now when we started studying about the axis 3 codes, we said that these are non weighted and it is correct because in case of axis 3, we are taking the help from 8 foot 2 1 but axis 3 in itself is non weighted However, despite being non weighted all the patterns 0 to 9 are sequential, right? Now at the beginning, we also claimed that these are self-complementary. For the illustration, let's take the symbol 3. Now 3's 9's complement is 6 because 9 minus 3 is actually 6. Now observe the pattern for 3. It is 0, 1, 1, 0. Also observe the pattern for 6. It is 1, 0, 0, 1. So basically 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 0, 0, 1 are the ones complement of one another. So the claim self complementary is also correct. So this is all about the axis 3 codes. So till now we have observed the 8 foot 2 1 codes and the axis 3 codes. Now it's time for the self complementary codes. Now as I said earlier, instead of learning all of them one by one, we will learn about the logic of self complementary codes using this weighted code 3321. So let's begin. Now 3321 codes are weighted. So while encoding of the decimal symbols of 0 to 9, the encodings of 0, 1 and 2 are similar to the encodings of 8 foot 2, 1. However, the encoding of the symbol 3 becomes a little bit tricky. Now why is so? Because in case of 3, 3, 2, 1, there are three possible encodings of the symbol 3. Observe the pattern 0, 0, 1, 1. Ones are placed underneath 2 and 1. So this is 3. We can also encode 3 using this pattern 0, 1, 0, 0 because 1 is placed underneath 3 and the final possible encoding is 1 0 0 0 because here also 1 is placed underneath the place value 3. Now the question is which one from all these 3 we should select? Here the 8 foot 2 1 encoding will come at rescue. We will judge all this pattern based on the 8 foot 2 1 encoding systems. Now in case of 8 foot 2 1 0 0 1 1 is actually 3. Then 0, 1, 0, 0 is actually 4 because 1 is placed underneath 4. Finally, 1, 0, 0 is actually 8 because 1 is placed underneath the place value 8, right? Now, from all these values, we are to choose the least one. So, 3 will be selected. Following this, for the symbol 3, we will choose the pattern 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, similar case will happen in case of the encoding of the symbol 4. Because in case of 3, 3, 2, 1, there are two different patterns for 4. Observe the pattern 0, 1, 0, 1. Ones are placed underneath 3 and 1. So this is 4. Similarly, in this pattern 1, 0, 0, 1. Ones are placed underneath 3 and 1. So this also gives the value 4. So what we will do? We will again take help from the 8, 4, 2, 1 encoding. Now with respect to 8 foot 2 1, this particular pattern 0 1 0 1 is actually the value 5. Coming to this pattern, observe the positions of the 1's. 1's are placed underneath 8 and 1. So this pattern is actually the value 9. Just like the previous one, here also we will select the pattern which obtains the lesser value that is 5. So for 4, 
the pattern in 3321 is going to be 0101. Now, 3321 codes are also self complementary, right? And since for all the 10 symbols of decimal, we have already figured out the pattern for the first 5, therefore, just by toggling the patterns for this, we can determine the patterns for the remaining 5. Now, since 3321 codes are self complementary, therefore, the 9th complement of 4, that is 5, will have the pattern 1010 which we obtained by toggling the pattern 0101. Similarly, the ninth complement of 3, which is 6, will have the pattern 1100, which we obtained by complementing the pattern 0011. Likewise, for 2, the pattern is 0010. Therefore, the ninth complement of 2, that is 7, will have the pattern 1101. Now, notice the pattern for 1. It is 0001, right? Therefore, the ninth complement of 1, that is 8, will have the pattern 1110. Now, finally, the pattern for 0 is 4 zeros. Therefore, the ninth complement of 0, that is 9, will have the pattern 4 ones. So, this is how the encodings are done in case of the where itself complementary 3321 codes. Now, before we conclude this session, Let's observe a special note regarding self complementary codes. The sum of the weights must be 9. Now let's look at all the self complementary codes. Observe 3, 3, 2, 1, right? So 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So this is a valid self complementary code. Likewise, 2, 4, 2, 1 gives us the value 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9. So, this also is a valid self complementary code. Coming to the next one, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10, and 10 minus 1 is 9. So, yes, this too is a valid self complementary code. Finally, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, and 10 minus 1 is 9 again. So, this one is also a valid self complementary code. Therefore, the sum of the weights must be 9 in case of self complementary code. However, the reverse is not true. Let's say we are going to devise a numeric code 9000. Now, 9 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 will eventually give us 9, but again, this is not a self complementary code. Because if you think about it, Apart from 9 and 0, we won't be able to express any of the decimal symbols using this particular numeric code, right? So, do remember this special note regarding self complementary codes. Also, as a homework, try to find out the encoding techniques for these three using the logic which we just observed in case of 3321 codes. So, in this session, we were first introduced to 8421 and XS3 codes. Thereafter, we observed the 3321 codes using which we acquired the concepts of self complementary codes. Alright, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe some numerical problems based on the concepts that we learned in this particular session. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.